Hi everybody, welcome to Mark's Backyard Birds. A question this time of year, and it is the first week of October, uh, the question this time of year, of course, is is it safe to clean out my nest boxes right now? Or when is it safe to clean out my nest boxes? Uh, for most of you, and uh, pretty much all of you, yes, it is safe to do it now. And this is a great time of year not only to clean out your nest boxes, but also to make the minor repairs to them that there may have been some damage and you didn't want to disturb the birds while they were still nesting. You may get an adjustment or maybe replace a part, a roof or anything like that. This is the time to do it. Now, I guess there are some exceptions possibly where they may still be uh, trying to get an extra nesting maybe to our south. But for our part, especially parts north, the, the nesting season for our cavity nesters is pretty much over. We know morning doves will nest another time, and cardinals will quite, quite often try to sneak in another nest. But for bluebirds and chickadees and, and, and of course, house wrens have, have definitely finished nesting. So those birds are gone. And so now is the time that if you've had any damage and you, and you really want to take care and fix it, you can do that. But remember that last nesting of the season, I always recommend that you may want to leave the nesting material in your nest box because birds will use them uh, as winter roost sites and that may help insulate that box a little more in the winter. The exception to that are if you've got uh, insects in there, if you've got ant infestation or any, especially feather lice, you definitely want to clean out your boxes now and give them a good cleaning on the inside for the next nesting season. Don't bring in new nesting material, that's not a problem. It's a great time to add some amenities to your box. Maybe if you haven't already, like a nest lift. If you haven't put that one of those, remember that helps keep that nesting material off of the bottom of the box to keep it dry and to keep the, the bugs from proliferating in there. So if you hadn't had one of those in there, this is a great time of year to do that. And if you've had damage to your box, let's say a, a squirrel or a woodpecker has wallowed out the hole, your entrance hole, and you want to get it back to the right size, it's a great time you can go in and resize it. If there's not a lot of damage, you can put like a portal protector uh, on there, which is the right size. And so this is a one and a half inch for the Bluebird box. And of course, we have them for uh, wren boxes as well, and also chickadee boxes, one and a quarter. Or if it's really badly damaged, if it's really chewed out, you can replace it, you add a piece of wood onto there. And if it's really bad, you can replace the entire uh, face of your box. You just take the screws out, take the board, cut a, a new face to it, drill it the right size hole and put it on there and maybe put a portal extension on there. But if you've had chewing damage, adding these portal protectors is a really, really good idea. Another question that I get asked a lot is, should I paint my birdhouse? Now, I, I'm, I'm not a fan of painting birdhouses, uh, but because I'm afraid people will misinterpret, you know, if I say, oh yeah, I paint them and people will paint everything. What I, I, I do like to extend the life of the box painting the roof because that's the first thing that's going to go uh, rot on a box to get, because it gets all the weather damage. But also studies show that a white box, if you live in a very hot area, uh, especially in the south where get in, in your, your house is in the sun, it gets a lot of uh, sun intensity. Painting the box, especially the roof, white will help reduce the inside temperature of that nest box. Never paint on the inside of a nest box because the fumes from the paint, it's not safe for the young ones and it's not needed either. So if you are in a really, really warm area and it gets a lot of intense sun, uh, I would not mind you painting the, the box white, but especially the roof. If nothing else, paint the roof white. That'll help reduce the temperature. If your box is in the shade all the time, it just doesn't need that. But, and of course, uh, if people do it well to the north, and the temperature stays a whole lot cooler during the nesting season, you, it may not need not that there. You might not need it there, but you, uh, if you're in a really, really hot area, uh, I, I, painting the roof white, painting the outside of it white uh, might be a good idea for you. It may help your birds out a lot. So great time of year. Go ahead and clean out your box. Um, if there's no problems with insects or anything like that and you want to leave that nesting material in there for the winter for roosting, that's great. Just make sure you clean it out maybe mid-February. That's when those bluebirds really start looking for uh, the, the nesting and, and chickadees too. So if you get a good clean out on it, your wren boxes you can clean out 
no, nothing else fits in there for winter roosting but those little house wrens. And they're going to put new sticks in it back in the spring. So you can go ahead and clean those out now uh, if you want to. It's, it's not a problem. So clean it out now. Early October is a great time. Fix your, make your repairs to the front, to the nest lift, add things like that. Paint it if you want to. It's a great time to do some, some nest box maintenance. It's a great idea for a program. Thank you for that. Give us a like, give us a share. If you're on YouTube, please subscribe. And until then, come on, let's talk birds.